Okay, I'm Christine, I'm the landlady of the Fleece Inn in Elland. Uh, it was built, the building was built circa 1607 and finished in 1610. In its history, it's been a farmhouse, a parsonage, it's been a row of cottages, um, it's been a sea captain's house. It has a wealth of history. Uh, apparently, it was built on the remains of an even older building, even though just what that is, we don't know. Um, okay, so it became a pub during the time that it was a row of cottages and one of the cottage holders uh, used to brew his own beer. Um, there is a story of uh, General Wade walking, um, travelling through England and stopping here for refreshments. Since then it's become an inn. Um, there's quite a lot of paranormal activity in the building. It's quite famous and we do do quite a lot of ghost hunts. Uh, we don't always get results but nine times out of ten we do. There's lots and lots of different spirits in the building, um, some down here in what used to be the, um, the, the barn and the hayloft. We also get some in the top room that, used, that is now the lounge, but we get most of all we get in the living accommodation upstairs, in the, um, particularly in the sitting room. Things move, you sense some things there, shadows have been seen, people get touched. Down here in the Rammers Bar, which is the function room, um, where you can see the stone wall behind me, that's the old exterior of the building. The bit beyond that that is now the dance floor, the DJ area and the bar area, it was a, an extension that was built in, I think it was in the 60s. So that bit initially would have been outside the actual building, but we do get quite a lot of activity there. Uh, we've actually caught on, um, on film more than once, a couple of spirits down there. One is a spirit of a little girl, um, and a very little girl, probably two years old, sitting uh, on the floor, what would be near the barn door, just to the other side of the window there. So she would have only just been outside, probably sitting in the doorway. Um, we have quite a lot of interaction with us, with her. She seemed to know we were there, and uh, interacted with a medium. We caught it on film, uh, playing games, um, playing patty cake, and holding her arms up and dancing to order. We also have got a slightly um, less attractive um, gentleman down here. We affectionately call him the grumpy old man because sometimes he's nice and sometimes he's grumpy. When he's grumpy, he uh, he'll certainly lets you know he doesn't want you in the area. You can feel him when you come in, you can feel his eyes on you, you can feel him watching you. Nine times out of ten he will chase you out. You can feel him behind you. I did have an incident with a stock taker here a few months ago. Uh, we were oh, at the bar over there. I was behind the bar, she was at this side of the bar. This lady had no, no history of the pub, apart from the fact that she knew it was a beautiful building. She didn't know about any spirits or any hauntings or any history. <coughs> and as we were counting, there's the um, the stock. She screamed out all of a sudden and ran towards me, ran round the bar towards me, and she was in a state of panic because she said somebody had got hold of the back of her neck and breathed down her neck. And when I explained to her that it was probably a grumpy old man, just letting her know that he was there, uh, she swore she wouldn't come down this area again. She has done since, but she's always very, very, very wary. Um, we've actually got him on film as well. Uh, sitting in a chair and sort of swinging his head from side to side. We've got another spirit that's upstairs here in what used to be the hayloft. A lot of people say that when they go up there they can smell cigars or they can smell cigarettes quite strongly or they can taste blood in the mouth and that's quite strong, it's like a metallic taste in your mouth. Um, one medium who's been in has told me that somebody lost their life up there by means of a, a nasty accident with a hook and their neck. I don't like to go into a any more details, but, uh, but that's what I've been told. And this is before they knew that we'd had the sense of tasting blood. Um, that's sort of it for down here. Um, we once had, uh, well, we had a medium here and we once had a, a manifestation of a soldier who said he was from the 1400s and before the building was built, it was Scottish and his name was McGregor. And, um, he was speaking through the medium and he said that he was here to clear the land for the, um, for the onward journey through England, for the troops. 
and quite interestingly when I know in the area asked him what he could see he could, said he could see nothing but an oak tree and I said are there any of the buildings in the area he says just the old church down there and he pointed straight in the direction of where we have the uh, the church that was built in the 1100s so in the 1400s it would have been 300 years old it would have been an old church um, I'm not sure whether that's common knowledge that we have a um, a church that's that old in this in this particular town but that's definitely something that they picked up on. Um, up in the living accommodation we tend to have lots of children, people pick up on lots of children, um, a sense of them playing ring a ring of roses running around from room to room. We also have um, a young guy there who's um, identified himself again through mediumship as being called Billy. Um, is quite an affectionate young man with a sense of humour and a little bit of a potty mouth. He does swear quite a lot and seems to think it's funny when we tell him off. Um, also in the living accommodation upstairs, uh, it has been picked on, picked up with, uh, by different people that there's been a sense of crowds of people walking along the corridor. Crowds and crowds, and I don't mean one or two, I mean lots of people and all from different nationalities. The pe two people set on separate incidences have identified there being a Chinaman there, but an old fashioned Chinaman with a little hat and the short, shiny uh, gown on and the little shoes uh, and the long plaques. Um, interestingly enough, one particular medium picked up on the, part, the uh, fact that when this building was built, some of the timbers that were incorporated in it were actually rescued from a ship. So they are ship's timbers and they thought it could have been a manifestation from that, those particular beams. So when they were on the ship, maybe they'd been abroad and had lots of people walking by. And Anyway, that's what I've been told. Um, there's a lady called Sarah upstairs who seems to be quite adamant that she wants to stay here, she doesn't want sending away. Um, she likes it here and she's a little bit frightened of another entity that's here but we've not actually identified that. Um, okay so we've got another more than grumpy soul in the um, one of the corridors upstairs. Um, he feels as though he could be quite, quite a nasty person. Um, although I think I'm quite lucky in as much as he tolerates me. My office is down there and many a time I'm sat there at 2-3 o'clock in the morning on my own, everybody else is in bed and I have an absolute sense that there's somebody behind me. And as I was just explaining a short while ago to yourselves that um, I do often feel a poke in the back or a stroke on the back of my shoulder. Um, so whether it's a reassuring one or whether it's just a, oh you know I'm here, I don't know. Um, Personally, it doesn't frighten me, but a lot of people are very, very, very frightened of that corridor. I've had mediums come down that won't even enter, enter the corridor at all, uh, which is um, quite surprising, really. You can tell there's something there, but I wouldn't have said it was that malevolent, but I've, I've been told that it is quite malevolent. Um, although, whatever's there seems to actually like me, so I'm quite lucky. Um, Okay, so any more incidences we've had? We've had in one of the spare bedrooms upstairs, one of the little rooms uh, that in history we used to be letting rooms, there used to be a separate entrance and there were letting rooms for travellers, uh, for market people because Ireland is a market town, so people used to travel from all over to the market and they used to quite often stay at the fleece. Um, we have had things move in that particular room. Um, we've actually tracked them by putting flour down just to see if things move and found tracks in the, fla in the flour after going back in after a period of the room being locked up. Um, there is a story of, a, going back to the market, there is a story of a, a market trader who um, tried to swindle somebody um, down on Ellen Market and when that person realised what was happening he took chase to the market trader who ran all the way up here and up through the back door into the letting rooms but his pursuer followed him and murdered him and um, apparently there was, it's not there anymore but there used to be a staircase uh, that led from the letting rooms down here I think um, just over the other side of the room there there's the remains of that staircase but there was 
uh, reputedly a blood stain down the staircase that would not come off no matter how many times they scrubbed it. Unfortunately, that bit of the staircase was accidentally burnt in the 1980s. It was taken away and burnt, but legend has it that there's, well, there's lots of people that live in Ireland that say they do recall seeing it. So I've no doubt that it did exist, whether it was a fault in the wood or a blood stain, I don't know. Right then guys, so here we are, the Fleece Inn, Elland, one of the most haunted pubs in Yorkshire. Currently in the old stables, where there's been a little girl spotted, there's been, well, if it passes through here, a grumpy old man. Numerous sightings. Lens over there, camera two. We've got the connect set up over here. That's recording. So we're just going to take a walk around. I heard that from over here. Can you touch that green light over there? Right to the right, see there? So you're picking up this weird thing on the connect guys. Uh, I don't even know what to describe that as. But it's going bizarre. Where well, it is in the spot where you said that you've seen yeah. Eleanor. 
Is it somebody dancing front of the No, it's all on the side. This camera reverses. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, right. So it's going to be here somewhere? No, no, it's there not on there. the screen. Is that it? In yeah. real space, it's there, not yeah. on that side. Yeah. Wow, what's is it? Can you move away? Oh, can you stand up straight? That is very strange. sort of jumped into you. Yeah, it's like attached to you. Um, it's like attached to you. Move to your right a bit. Move to your right. Is there anyone here who wants to come through and talk to us? I can use these devices here on the table. Tell us your name. Pass on a message. Anything you want to say. Definitely something. something you can use this device here that I'm touching now to make words up from a dictionary. Tell us anything you want. This one here that I'm touching now, you can actually speak through that. We've introduced ourselves. Come through and tell us your name. Thanks for that. I'm not sure what you said, but that was good. Keep it coming. Talk as loud as you want guys, anything you want to say. Stars. No, not the word. Stairs. Are you talking about the bloody staircase?
Tell us more about the stairs. Who are we speaking with now? Give us, give us your name please. I know it's hard to do these things but you can take our energy, you can use our energy. Use the energy from these devices here. Can you give us another word on this machine? This machine I'm touching. Give us another word. Tell us something about yourself. I'm not getting anything on, on the camera. Really cold here as well. Orb. No. Yep. Right at the top of the stairs. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Oh, what was it? I thought I heard my way. Have you repeat that? Can you say that again? Bang on. And you said, is there an extra? Right, guys, we've just stopped for a SIG break. I've just asked Christine for an ashtray. Obvious have just come up and said ashtray. <laughs> Straight after. Is that because I said I have not got a cup? <laughs> use an ashtray. Yes, yeah, sorry, we are naughty. We should use an ashtray. Right then guys, we're gonna have a walk around. We're getting some interesting words on the obvious. Um We've also been getting some significant temperature drops. Unfortunately, it's been while well, we've been having a break. 
so we've sort of missed it on camera but it's there like um, the landlady Christine she was talking about one of the staff that she's got here and um, apparently the spirit one of the spirits really likes her and um, Christine was just talking about her and then the name Lewis came up on the ovulus um, Lewis is this girl's partner strangely enough and I asked how old is this girl and the ovulus said older so whether it means she's older than him or I'm not sure but we're gonna move on now have a look in some different rooms see what we can capture move into the main bar area now can you move a glass? I've heard you like to Ovulus just said never ending. Could that be referring to everybody putting ghosts in it? Does it mean yeah. there's ghosts when it's a never ending? Yeah. She keeps doing them all the time. Never ending. It's the first time we've got that word. Yeah. It's the first time that's ever come onto there. Can you break a glass? We know you like to do that when you're being playful. can't really relate anything to that, can you give us something more relative, more specific? Did you make cloth? Is there a lot of cloth makers in um, Halifax and surrounding yeah. areas? Right and guys, we're now upstairs. We've got a night vision camera set up, filming the hallway where there's supposed to be apparitions seen. So we're going to let that record there while we just have a walk through. Yeah, I predicted that. That didn't scare me. Different atmosphere in here. This one. Different atmosphere in here. Yeah. This used to scare me this bedroom, but it doesn't now. Mm -hmm. Is there any young children in here?
Do you want to jump up and down on bed? Tonight you've got permission. <laughs> Anyone want to show the self in the doorway? Except for Len. I've got that on camera. <laughs> we heard you like to open doors up here. Can you open one of the doors now that are closed? Is that a name or a hobby, Hunter? Or a job? Yeah. Hunter. Got the word Hunter on the obvious. Sort of feels too cosy in here. Are there any people that may be passengers on a ship want to show themselves down this hallway? Mansion. Mansion. What was that? I like to sneeze. <coughs> what the hell was that? Sound like two, like two. No, that just went off. Totally different sound. Okay, we'll leave that one unexplained at the moment. You don't have to be in the I'm hearing like a breathing. There's windows open down here. So Is it? Ah, right. Well, there's one open in the Can you come forward and give us some more words? Can you slam a door? Can you open that door? Actually, is that closed? Yeah, door's closed. Where would you like to move things in this room? Can you move something now? Can you open a door? Slam a door? I suppose back in older days, a building this size would have been probably considered a mansion, wouldn't it? It would, wouldn't it? Talk about 400 years ago. Like, yeah. I don't know what people's, people's houses were. Wooden huts, didn't they? Yeah. Wooden, wooden houses, like in New York. Yeah. Yeah. It was like when we went to... Salt's Mansion, I mean that's called Salt's Mansion, but it wasn't big, it wasn't right big.
come on guys. Abandoned. You need to show us that he's still here. Abandoned. Abandoned. <laughs> An abandoned mansion. Well, that's weird. Cause I just mentioned uh, Salt's mansion. Yeah. No, it would abandon. Yeah. Um, Titus Salt sold it off. Mm. And the next guy who bought it off him really believed in curse, all his family started getting sick and that, and yeah. he abandoned it, and it just yeah. went into disrepair. Wow. Can you open one of these doors for us? I'd really love to see you open the door. Or slam one of the other doors. Come on guys, we want to show people that you're here. Right then guys, we're gonna do a quick Spirit box session. Session four. Can you come through and talk to us? That was good. That was good. Same boss as well, as well mm. Is that Jack? Can you affect these lights? Can you make this little green light go red? You get close to it, or let's please get close to it and it'll go red. Jack, can you speak to us? Harold, Mary, Eleanor. Anyone that wants to speak, can speak through this device. How many people are with us right now? on one of these tables. Let's 
still be able to look here from you as well. I'm quiet in here. <laughs> Does anyone want to come forward and say anything? Tell us your name. Why don't you want to talk to us? Do you want us to leave? If you want us to leave, tell us. Must go. Must go. Must go. I must go. I heard your, your, what's from the beginning of the ST, your stuff, something. Like your stuff is in it. Do you not like us being here? Are we annoying you by being here? Eleanor or Mary, can you speak to us? All we've heard from so far is a man. Oh, that was going to us. Yeah. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Could you speak again? Can you tell us something else? Is that you, Eleanor? Can you tell us how old you are? Mary, can you tell us how old you are? The 
people in them ladies' toilets have not been working when they're supposed to be. Can you come through and tell them off? Can we hear from the man again? Are you the grumpy old man? We might look daft to you sat here doing this, but we just want to talk to you. Is there anything you want us to do? I uh, just said yes. If there's anything you want from us, please ask us, tell us. And what did I say earlier? The voice of is just missed out there. Definitely. Go. Yeah. I go. I go. Do you want us to go? I will leave you. Leave you in peace. Can you do that again? Can you talk again? If you want us to leave, just talk to us and let us know that you're here. And then we'll have our answers and we'll leave. Any messages you want to pass on? Got two minutes before I switch this thing off. Tell us some things. Oh. 
what we're doing with them. What the words we're doing with them. I'll just say, I thought it was go. It was like, go on there. It was like two syllables, I heard, like, okay. I heard three yeah. syllables. Yeah. Like, just like this, it sounded like yeah. it started with S-T, like, da da Can you speak again? You didn't quite catch what you said. Shout. Try and shout. Loud as you can. Use that energy if you need to do that. Thirty seconds left. Is there anything else you want to say? Shout one more thing, very loud. Give you a quick five minutes on this one. Uh, tell us some stuff. Said bathroom, it sounded like that said bathroom. That must be a modern spirit when you're just having a bathroom is going on. What about the bathroom? Definitely somewhat, but can't make it out. Thought we're getting the uh, the female now. 
Could the male talk through this one as well, the man? Go away. You're telling us to go away. Tell us to go away with your own voice. I'm sure I heard good evening. Who's trapped? Where are you trapped? Why are you trapped? Okay, tell us who's trapped. See it places before and last. And we've got the answers straight away. Yeah. Like here, yeah, it's like you will not answer when you ask. Yeah. It was quick enough to uh, copy what we were saying, you know. Yeah. It won't answer when you actually ask the question. Who's trapped? You've said to us trapped twice now. Who's trapped? Is Eleanor trapped? Mary? John? Harold? Say Mary. Oh. Sarah. 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 
There is a sound in there, isn't there? Is Sarah here? Are we talking to Sarah? Mm -hmm. If we are talking, talking to apartment. Didn't you say something about sitting in? There's a conversation going on there. And that's impossible to do the same voice because it's on a 200 millisecond sweep. Is Sarah trapped in the apartment? In fact, could we have Sarah's last name, please? That was good now, could you tell us on here? Looking for Sarah's last name on this device now. Can you tell us that, please? Come on guys, we're gonna go soon. Talk to us. Again, won't do anything when I ask. Right, I'm going to turn this off. Any last words? That sounded like, to me, it sounded like it said something for me. Like, mm, for me? There's a light on up there, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. Where's the light come from? Is it f outside? Yeah. There's an outside light on. <laughs> There's an outside light on. It's not um it's not no. No, it's it's on the building. It's not an automatic light or all, is it? It's supposed to shine up on the word fleece, but it don't work. Yeah. It hasn't worked for donkey's years. <laughs> what, it hasn't actually worked? No, it doesn't work. <laughs> well, it works now. <laughs> They're all disconnected. They disconnected them all. There's two on the front building, one on the back, and they disconnected them all. What the hell? Excuse me. Unless they well. can disconnect that one, but I've never seen that one like before. You can see that there, guys. There's a light shining up against the building. Never seen that lit before. That's strange. 
Well, I mean, you can see from here the others are on. Yeah, it's, it's freezing up here as well. 